Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Marlon. Good evening. Hello, Carlos, Mauricio, and Gabriel. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? How are you? Right. Okay, that's excellent. You are fine. That is great. I find you. Thank you, teacher. I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. Welcome to the class. What? Okay, and then we have Carlos David and also Marvin Alexander. Good evening. Okay, before we start the class, let me ask you about the platform exercises. Are you working on the exercise on the section number two or in the section number three? In which section are you working? ¿En qué sección de la plataforma van ya? Can you please tell me? Number three. Number three, okay, excellent. And what about your case, guys? Carlos, Marlon, Mauricio, Marvin? I am in the number two teacher. You are in the section number two, okay, that is great. So we need to finish number two and we can start number three. In Marvin Alexander? Uh, number three, teacher. Okay, that is great. Excellent. Carlos David, in which section are you working on the platform? Uh, do you have any problem with the section number two? Any question? Any difficult exercise there? Remember that if you have some questions, some um, difficult exercises, uh, you can write in the WhatsApp group and we are going to help you with those exercises. So do not have any problem with that. If you don't, let us start with tonight's class, right? Yesterday we were talking about body parts and also about common illnesses. Uh, how to express, right? When we don't feel well. So let me remember some body parts. Do you remember some body parts? The body part that we studied yesterday and also common illnesses. Let's start with body parts. Let's see. Do you remember some body parts? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, that's excellent. Now, how do you say... How do you say cabeza in English? Head. Okay, excellent. How do you say knees? Now, what is the meaning of knees? Sorry. What is the meaning of knees in Spanish? Rodilla. Okay, excellent. What about back? Espalda. Espalda, excellent. What about legs? Pierdo. Piernas, excellent. How do you say pecho in English? Chest. Chest, excellent. Chest. Chest. Now let's go with common illnesses. How do you say in English, tengo un dolor de cabeza? I have a headache. Okay, excellent. I have a headache. Very good. How do you say in English, I have un dolor de espalda? Yo tengo un dolor de espalda. I have a backache. Okay, excellent. I have a backache. And how do you say tengo un dolor de muelas in English? Yeah. Okay. okay, excellent, Delmi. I have a toothache. I have a toothache. Very good. Como digo en inglés, how do I say in English? Uh, me duele el estómago. Tengo un dolor de estómago. I have a, a stomach. I have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. Very good. I have a stomach ache. Oh, I can see that you remember. And what about if the problem is with a woman? What's the matter with her? 
Bueno, uh, supongamos que Ana Yasmin tiene dolor de cabeza el día de hoy. Como digo, ella tiene un dolor de cabeza. How do you say that in English? She's, have, she's has Okay, Ana. Who wants to help Ana? Who wants to help Ana? Ella tiene un dolor de cabeza. She has a headache. Okay, excellent. Then we say she has. She has a headache. Uh, supongamos que Mauricio tiene un dolor de estómago esta noche. How do you say in English? Él tiene un dolor de estómago. He has uh, stomach. Stomach. Okay, excellent. He has a stomach ache. Very good. He has stomach ache. Very good. So I can see that you remember that part. So if you don't have any question about the platform exercises or any other comment or doubts, let's start with tonight's class and I'm going to show you the topic for tonight. Today we are going to study giving advices. Do you know what is giving advices? Advices, what is the meaning of this word? Advices. Ya habían escuchado esa palabra antes? Giving advices. Consejos, that is the meaning, dando consejos, ¿verdad? And we are going to use the imperative sentence to get some advices. We are going to learn that tonight. ¿Se acuerdan cuando estaban más jóvenes y les dolía el estómago que les daba su mamá? Papil. Uh, which one? Pectobismol. Ah, ok. Pectobismol. Bueno, le daban pectobismol. Algunos le daban esencia de una negra, ¿no? Esencia know. coronada. Ah, ok. Very good. So, esencia. Uh, for a headache. ¿Qué toman para el dolor de cabeza? ¿Qué recomiendan? Uh, acetaminofén. Celebra o se le costó. Aspirin. Okay, aspirin, acetaminophen, what's the other thing? Tylenol. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, then, um, cuando alguien le duele la muela, ¿qué consejo le podemos dar? Which advices do you give to them? Uh, tom tomar anadem. Ah, okay. Drink, Drink anadem, pills. Okay, then, todos esos son consejos, those are advices, so we are going to learn how to say that in English, using imperative sentences. Now, let's go with imperative sentences. What are the imperative sentences? ¿Cuáles son las oraciones imperativas? Any idea? Imperative sentences. Imperativas. Como dar órdenes. Yes, right. Es, es como dar órdenes, ¿verdad? Pero en esta ocasión, we are going to use them for giving advices. Para dar consejos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, cuando le dicen, don't touch, right? Don't touch. The, the paint is wet. Right? No toque, ¿verdad? La pintura está, está fresca, fresca todavía. Está húmedo todavía. Y no toque, don't touch. Right? Entonces, es un consejo. No lo toque, porque si lo toca, ¿qué le va a pasar? Se va a manchar. Se va a manchar, entonces es un consejo, ¿verdad? O oh, si alguien le dice, mire, se me está cayendo el pelo, ¿qué me aconseja? Este le dice, ¿qué le aconseja? Le dice, you buy, buy a special shampoo, compre un shampoo especial, ¿verdad? Y bañense con jabón de cuche, ¿verdad? Y con sapuyulo, entonces esos son advices, ¿verdad? Right? Those are advices. Then we're going to learn that for tonight. But let's start with this then, giving advices using the imperative sentences. Here we go. Let me share with you the presentation. I am sharing with you my screen. So can you see it? Let me know, please, if you can see it. Yes, we can see it. Okay, excellent. So welcome to the class number six. And this is the topic for tonight, giving advices using imperative sentences. And let's start with this. Oh, this is the lesson objectives for tonight. Any volunteer to read the objective? What we are going to learn tonight? 
I'm just one, one volunteer. Okay, thank you, Maria. Thank you, Alejandra Maria. Uh, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Excellent. So as you can see, we have two types of imperative sentences, positive and also negative. So let's start with this review. What's the matter with here? Look at the picture. And let me see this one, for example. What is the matter with hair? Or what's wrong with hair? She has a headache. Okay, she has a headache. See, yes, she has a headache. And what's the matter with hair? She has flu. Okay, she, she has the flu. Very good, she has the flu. And what's the matter with hair? She has two. Uh, she has uh, two today. Two ache. Tooth ache. Very good. She has a tooth ache. And what's the matter with the hair? Stomach ache. She has a stomach ache. She has she a has stomach a ache. Fever. Oh, she has a fever. That is another option. So she has a stomach ache or she has a belly ache. And she has a toothache. Very good. Let me see what is here on the chat. Good evening, teacher. I'm driving. Okay, Raul Edgardo. I understand. Just be careful. Then anyone who dare to read these four sentences? Who wants to practice? Okay, Marlon. Number one, she has a headache. Number two, she has uh, the flu. Number three, she has a toothache. And number four, she has a stomach ache or belly ache. Okay, excellent, very good. She has stomach ache, then she has a belly ache, and she has a toothache. Now, what is the meaning of belly ache? Any idea? She has a belly ache. What is the meaning of this? Belly ache. Okay. okay, muy bien. That is, es como aquí la parte baja del estómago. ¿no? Generalmente las señoritas padecen de eso. That is a belly ache. And let's go to the next. What's the matter with him in picture number one? He has. He has a stomach. Ache. Okay, excellent. So he has a diarrhea, or he has a stomach ache. Very good. What about the next one? He has a sore throat. Sore throat. Okay, excellent. He has a sore throat. Very good. And finally, we have this. This man he here, what's the matter with cake. him? Excellent, he has a backache. So he has a diarrhea or he has a stomach ache, he has a sore throat, and finally he has a backache. Then let's go with this. This is the, this is a review of the last class, right? And we studied these two questions, what's the matter or what's wrong? And here is how we are going to answer them. In the first one, we need the subject, the verb have plus a noun. Un sujeto, el verbo have, y un nombre. And I have four examples there. Any volunteer to read examples? I have four sentences there. Anyone? Anybody who wants to participate? Read the example, please. Let's practice. Para leerlas. Yes. Uh, I have a cold. She has a fever. They have the flu. She has a headache. I feel a full. She feels terrible. She feels better. 
I feel stressful. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Ana Yasmin. Alejandra Maria, can you help me too, please? Okay. Uh, I have a cold. She has a fever. They have the flu. He has a headache. I feel awful. She feels terrible. He feels better and I feel stressful. Okay, very good. The second example is um, the, the structure of these sentences are subject, feel, the verb feel, and adjective. Un sujeto, el verbo feel, y un adjetivo. So I feel awful. She feels terrible. He feels better. I feel stressful. Then you can see after the verb feel, we use an adjective. After the verb have, we use a noun. That is the difference in these phrases. So don't forget about them. And let's go with this conversation. So take a look at this first part of the conversation. This is hello, Mrs. West. How are you today? No so good. So what's gone exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. So what's the matter with her? What's the matter with Mrs. Quest? ¿Qué le pasa? ¿De qué está padeciendo ella? What's she, the matter? She, oh, she is exhausted, right? She's exhausted. And she say, I just can't sleep at night. ¿Les pasa eso algunas veces? No puedo dormir. Yes. Yeah. Okay, no puedo dormir por las noches. Then a few minutes later, and let's go with the second part of the conversation, is I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay? And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't worry too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. John. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to give you some pills. Te daré algunas pastillas. Take one pill every night after dinner. This is an imperative sentence, right? Take one pill every night after dinner. That is an instruction. And okay, and here is another advice. Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Don't drink anything else. And this is another imperative sentence. Don't work too hard. I say, all right, thanks, Dr. John. So look at this one. Don't work too hard. Ese es un buen consejo. Don't work too hard. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. ¿Cómo se sintieran si les dijeran, don't drink coffee? Mal. Mal. Do you like coffee a lot? Very tired. Ah, OK. Uh, do you like coffee? ¿Les gusta el café? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. How many? Yes, I like it. Very OK. Much. How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Five. Three, three coffee. Three, three cups. Three cups. Five, six coffee. Cup of coffee. Okay, that is too much. So don't drink coffee. And what about soda? Do you like soda a lot? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Oh, I know. <clears throat> no, 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 you don't. No, you no, don't. don't. You, you don't like soda. Okay. What about tea? Do you like tea? Yes, I do. Ana Lucia say yes, right? And what about the rest of the class? Do you like tea? Yes. Yes. I do. Yes. yes, I do. yes. Ah, yes, I okay. Like Solo cuando les da gripe toman chamomile tea. Yeah. Or, or ginger tea. Té de manzanilla o té de... What was ginger? Gengibre. Gengibre. Okay, that is the word. Thank you. Uh, manzanilla. Okay. okay, very good. So, look teacher, at this. Teacher, yes. I drink coffee, uh, but 
excuse me, I drink um, green tea. Green tea. That is like mm. Japanese or Chinese tea? Um, yeah, yeah, uh, Chinese. Ah, okay, both, both countries. They used to drink. During the breakfast. Ah, okay. I heard that that is healthy, right? Es saludable. Eh? To drink green tea. Well, let's come back to the conversation. Do you have any question about this? Any new vocabulary in this conversation? New vocabulary, new words. No. Any yeah. new Ex words? Exhaust, or como es la pronunciación, teacher? Exhausted. I'm exhausted. exhausted. Yes, exhausted. I'm exhausted. Okay. okay, very good. Any? Thank you for your question. Any other question? No <laughs> questions. Okay. No, no, okay. Look at this example. They appeal every four hours. That is an imperative sentence. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. So these are examples of, let's see, positive imperative sentences. We start with the verb. We are going to start the sentences with the verb. Then we are going to add the complementary. They appeal every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. No tenemos un sujeto acá, ¿verdad? Eh, todas las oraciones imperativas van para el pronombre you. Tú, ¿verdad? Usted haga eso. So, is that you. They appeal every four hours. But we don't write the subject. No escribimos el sujeto. Desde el verbo comenzamos la oración. Está como implícito. Así es. Yes, that is the word. Uh, subject, el sujeto está implícito en estas oraciones y es el pronombre you siempre ¿verdad? para usted o tú haga esto okay. they appeal every four hours rest in bed, drink slop of juice and in the negative we have don't we are going to start the sentences using don't then the verb and then the complement so don't work too hard don't stay up late don't drink soda it's como, no haga eso, no lo hagas. Don't do that. So don't work hard. No trabajes demasiado. Don't stay up late. No permanezca despierto hasta tarde. And don't drink soda. No tome soda. And look at this one. I have another example here for you. Then we have the verb plus complement. And we have a positive imperative sentences. Don't plus the verb plus the complement, and we have a negative imperative sentence. Any volunteer to read these three examples? The positive examples. Drink, drink lots of water. The next one. Eat vegetables. Vegetables. Take an experiment. Okay, excellent. So drink lot of water, eat vegetables, and take an aspirin. Positive. Then let's go with the negative. Any volunteer to read negative? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carmen and Elena. Um, don't, don't eat too much. Don't stress or stress. Or stress. Don't Drink soda. Excellent. Thank you so much. So don't eat too much. Don't stress. Don't stress. stress. Don't drink soda. Stress. Okay. En estas palabras in the Spanish we use to eh, pronounce e sound. The e sound. And we say eh, stress. But mm -hmm. that is not correct. In English we say stress. Solo es el sonido de la S. Yes. La S. With, that is word mm -hmm. with the S down, stress, stress, okay. okay Any question in this part? How to make imperative sentences positive or negative? No question. No, ah, okay, that's excellent then. Then using imperatives, look at this. 
I have a headache, which are some advices. Take some aspirin, rest a lot, don't use your cell phone or computer, and don't watch television. I have these examples, right? Uh, when someone say, I have a headache, and you say, take some aspirin, rest a lot, don't use your cell phone or computer, and don't watch television. Any other advice for a person who has a headache? ¿Algún otro consejo para una persona que diga, I have a headache? Eh, cuando son medicinas caseras, que le recomiendan a veces a uno que le, se ponga papas así. Ah, ok. So you put some fresh potatoes on your forehead. Okay, green, green for eight hours. Ok. Can you sleep, sleep. Ah, ok, ok. Sleep for eight hours. <laughs> sleep for eight hours. Very good. Any other advice? Drink, ma drink magnesium. Magnesium. Oh, okay. Magnesium. Drink magnesium. And I have a diarrhea. I'm so sick, right? I have a stomachache and I have a diarrhea. Which advices can you give it to me? ¿Qué consejos podría darme? Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Excellent, don't need too much. Take a lot of juice. Take a lot of juice. Drink water, teacher. Drink a lot of water. Which other advice? Now you see don't. Don't. Don't drink milk. <laughs> Don't drink milk. Ah, okay. <laughs> If that makes it. <laughs> okay, don't drink milk. Solo de almendras. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have here some, some advices for this. Uh, I have the area, so if they are home, drink lots of liquid and don't no, eat no. too much. No. Don't go to work, right? Don't go to school. Then, let me see. I have a cough. I have a cough. Give me some advices. No ideas. Let me share with you my ideas here. Take cup cider, don't drink cold drinks, and don't eat ice cream. Esto era más común que no decían, ¿verdad? No tome bebidas heladas. And don't eat ice cream. Mm -hmm. And take up cider. Este es jarabe para la tos. Take up cider. Don't drink cold drinks and don't eat mm -hmm. ice cream. Those are some advices. I need to volunteer to practice in this two small conversation. Any volunteer to practice? Let me know if we want to participate in this part of the class. Nobody wants. Me, teacher. Ah, ok, thank you, Alejandra María y Carmen Elena en el primer round. Alejandra, you are A, Carmen, you are B. Let's start, please. Ok. I have a headache. Take some aspirin. Rest a lot. Don't use your cell phone or computer and don't watch television. Ok. Thanks. Next one, please. I have a diarrhea. Stay at home. Drink lots of liquid. Don't eat too much. And I have a cough. Stay cough syrup. Don't drink cold drinks and don't eat ice cream. Wow, okay. that was excellent. Thank you so much. Very good job. Almost perfect. Yes, this word. Cow cider. Cider. Cow cider. Yes, cider. Okay. Cider. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you, uh, teacher. Okay, the last two volunteers to participate in this part. Anyone? Anyone? Who wants? Who wants? Who wants to participate tonight? Me, teacher. 
Thank you, Marlon. I have Marlon. And any other volunteer, please? If not, I'm going to choose somebody. Marlon no and... No more volunteers tonight. What happened? Anyone? One, two, three. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Tell me, right? Good. Okay, then let's start Marlon and Delmi, please. Marlon, you are A, Delmi, you are B. Let's start. Okay, I had a headache. Take some aspirin, rest a lot, don't use your cell phone or, your, or computer, and don't watch television. I had a diarrhea. Stay at home. Drink a lot of liquid, don't eat too much. I had a cold. Take cup syrup, don't drink cold drink, and don't eat ice cream. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much, Delmi and Marlon. Thank you very much. That was excellent. Very good. So let's continue with this. Um, imperative exercises. Can you help me please to make imperative sentences using this information? We're going to use the bear here in the box to complete these sentences. And I have the first two examples here called a dentist and don't worry too much. Then what about number three, to aspirin? And number four, to school? Number five, to relaxing music? Number six, number six a doctor? Number seven, coffee, and number eight, any candy. So which verb do I need to complete the number three? The imperative eight. sentence is number three. Which one do you say? to aspirin. Take, teacher. Okay, excellent. Take to aspirin. Very good. And the next one? Not to go. Not go to <laughs> Not go is correct. Let's remember a negative imperative sentences. We start with. We start with don't. Then what is it in number four? Ana Lucía, solo nosotras quedamos aquí en este grupo. Hello, Ken. Oh, hello, teacher. <laughs> Love, I'm sorry for that. I don't know what happened with my holding up internet, but it's gone off suddenly. Okay. Now I am with the internet of my cell phones. I hope that is enough right to finish this class okay so let's continue we were talking about imperative sentences and we were solving some exercises so we were working in this part right yes don't go to school okay don't go to school that is the right answer not go not go don't go to school. Don't go to school. And let's see number five. Listen to relax. Listen. Listen to relax. Listen music. to relaxing music. Yes. What about number six? See a doctor. See a doctor. See a doctor. See a doctor. Okay, in number seven. Don't drink Not coffee. Don't, coffee. Drink. Don't, drink. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. And finally, Don't number eight. Not eat. Don't eat. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Thank you so much. I need a volunteer to read these imperative sentences from number one to number four. Anybody who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Thank you, Marlon. So read it then, please. Number one, call a dentist. 
Number two, don't worry too much. Number three, take to aspirin. Number four, don't go to school. Excellent. Any other volunteer to read from number five to number eight, please? Me, teacher. Thank you, Gabo. Uh, listen to relaxing music. Number six, see a doctor. Number seven, don't drink coffee. And finally, uh, don't eat any candy. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Thank you, Marlon. Thank you, Gabriel. Very good job in this part. So look at these imperative sentences for a moment. So call a dentist, don't worry too much, take to aspirin, don't go to school, listen to relaxing music, see a doctor, don't drink coffee, and don't eat any candy. So keep them in mind because we're going to use them for the next exercise. Look at the following picture. Look at these people. What's the matter with him? What's the matter with him? He has a toothache. Okay, very good. He say, I have a toothache. And she say, I have a headache. I have the flu. I can't sleep at night. So we have to give some advices. De las oraciones imperativas that we studied before. From this one. Okay, from these imperative sentences, we are going to give some advice to the next people. Let's see, number one, I have a toothache. Get some advice to him. See a doctor. Okay. And I have the first one called a dentist. So which other one can we use for him? Don't eat uh, candies. Okay, excellent. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. candy. And don't, what drink, about? don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Okay, don't drink coffee. What about I have a headache? See a doctor. See a doctor. Don't watch TV. Don't watch TV. And what about the next one? I have the flu. Hello, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher, now yes. Ah, okay, excellent, thank you. I'm sorry, I don't know what is happening with my internet tonight. Okay, we were working in this part. So I have a headache, then you say, see a doctor, and which other one? Don't watch uh, TV. Take to aspirin. Take to aspirin. Very good. Don't watch TV. That is another excellent advice. I have the flu. What about for this guy? I have the flu. Then let's see the advice is here. Uh, don't go to school. Okay, we can use don't go to school. Which other one can we use from this one? Hey. Yeah, doctor. Oh, take to aspirin too. And what See about a doctor? See a doctor. And for the last one, I can't sleep at night. I can't sleep at night. Which one can we use? Listen to relaxing music. Excellent. Don't Listen drink, to relaxing don't music. Drink coffee. Don't drink coffee don't is drink. another good advice. Very good. So, do you have any question about this exercise? Don't worry too much. Oh, don't worry too much. 
That is another good advice. Don't worry too much. Everything has a solution. So now let me show you this reading. You can find this reading on the platform too. And we're going to study 10 simple ways. 10 simple ways to improve your health. So look at these imperative sentences. The first one, believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. So we have here 10 imperative sentences, right? 10 advices. And number one is, eat breakfast. Do you eat breakfast every day? Yes, sir. Yes, also breakfast is so important for your body, right? Because breakfast gives you energy for the morning and for the whole day. So look at these imperative sentences using for advice, eat breakfast. That is the first one. Second, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise and exercise is necessary for good health. So do you go for a walk at least once a week? Do you go for a walk? ¿Les gusta caminar? No, teacher. No, I don't not like really. It. Ah, okay, but that is important, right? It's a good exercise. Yes. And let's see, floss your teeth. What about this one? Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing kids are gum healthy. What is this? Floss your teeth. Hilo, hilo dental. Ah, okay. Use floss, right? Tiene que utilizar hilo dental en sus dientes, right? And then that's just brush then. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Let's go with number four. Drink a cup of coffee. Si dice, tome ocho tazas de café. Water. Ah, okay. Water. Estoy leyendo mal. Drink a cup of coffee every day. Water helps your body in many ways, right? So it's important. And let's see, number five is stretch for five minutes. Stretch. It's como un estiramiento, ¿verdad? Por cinco minutos. Stretching is important for your muscles too. And number six, wear a seat belt. This is really important too, right? Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. So if you drive a car or if you are a passenger, so don't forget about the seat belt. Okay, and number seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Let's see, number eight, protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. And that is important, right? And we we'll say crema humectante y también bloqueador solar. Some screen. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Daily foods like yogurt, meal, and cheese have calcium. So you have to eat some of these foods, right? And the last one, day a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. And then all of these 10 advices are imperative sentences. Estas 10 consejos son oraciones imperativas. Any volunteer to read from number one to number five, please? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Marlon. Number one, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Number two, go for a walk. Walking is good for well, exercise and and is necessary and next is exercise is necessary for good health number three close your teeth don't just brush them closing keeps your gums healthy number four three a cup of coffee I water every day. <laughs> teacher say, teacher say. Water <laughs> helps your body in many ways. Number five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching 
is important for your muscle. Excellent. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Thank you so much, Marlon. And it says drink eight glasses of soda. It says to cough, right? Ocho vasos yeah. de, de soda al día. That keep you health. And let's see, any volunteer to read from six to ten? Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Let's start, Carmen, please. Okay. Um, wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. Number seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Uh, number eight, protect your skin. Use lots of moist, moist tourism and sunscreen. And number nine, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, or yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. And number ten, take a Time out a break of about um twenty minutes. But, excuse me, teacher. Twenty minutes. Day a day out a break of mm -hmm. about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Um. Do something different. Different. For example, get up and walk, or sit down and listen to music. Okay, excellent, very good. Now, thank you so much, Marlon and Carmen Elena. You did a great job in this part. Yes, with this word, crossword puzzle. Do a crossword puzzle. Teacher, yes. in the number eight, okay, use, use lots, lots most, of moisturizers. Moisturizers. Moisturizer. Yes, moisturizer. Okay, and now here are some questions for you about this reading. Let me show you. Question number one. What can we do for challenge our brain? According to this reading, what can we do for challenge our brain? What, what can we do for challenging our brain? According to the reading, look for the answer there. Any example, teacher? Um, let me see. It's according to the reading, right? De acuerdo a la lectura, ¿qué podemos hacer para desafiar nuestro cerebro? Read a new book. Okay, read a new book. And also... Crossword puzzle. Okay, excellent. Crossword puzzle. Do a crossword puzzle. Play chess. Uh, play chess, right. That is a very interesting and very challenging game. Play chess. Can you play chess? Anybody in the class? No, not really. Okay, that is a very interesting game, right? You have to learn and play some sometimes. So what does our bones need? What does our bones need? Calcium. Calcium, very good. Let's see number three. What is a good exercise to stay healthy? What is a good exercise to stay healthy? Go for a walk. Okay, excellent. Go for a walk. Very good. How much water do you need to drink? How much water eight do you need to drink? Water. Eight okay, a cup of water. Eight and cups. what can you do in your time out? What can you do in your time out? Go get up. Work. Okay, excellent. Get up if you are working sitting, right? 
If you are sit down working, you can't listen to music. Listen to music and, and walk. Break. And which practice say lots of life? According to the reading. Which practice say thousands of lives. It is in number six. Which practice say lots of lies? Wear a seat. Wear a seat belt. Wear a seat belt, yes. So 10 simple ways to improve your health, right? The, and all of thousand. them are thousand, Thank thousand of lies. Okay, very oh, good. No. So the question means, ¿Qué practica salva muchas vidas? The answer is wear a seat belt. So all of them are advices, right? So let's continue with this. In giving advices, I want to have a healthy life. Okay, we want to, right? We want to have a healthy life, but what do we need to do to have a healthy life? Here are some examples, right? Ah, siempre decimos, quiero bajar de peso. Quiero tener una vida más saludable, right? Pero cuando nos dicen, mire, él tiene que hacer dieta para comer esto y esto y esto, oh, nos desanimamos, right? ¿Alguien ha seguido una dieta al pie de la letra? Have you ever gone on a diet? No. Don't I know? Yes, teacher. No. Ah, you say yes. Okay, some of you say yes and there's no one no, more, right? So, let's see. I want yes, to I do, a... teacher. Oh, really? Was it difficult to follow the diet? ¿Fue difícil? ¿O es difícil mantener la dieta? And you see ice cream, chocolate, so cake. Difficult. You say a pizza, lot. hamburgers, right? French fries. You say, no, I can't eat that, right? I am not diet. So that is kind of difficult, right? But if you want to be healthy, now you can follow the next advices. Eat a healthy diet, eat lots of fruit and vegetables. Don't eat fast food, drink lots of water, don't drink too much caffeine or sugary drinks like soda. Okay. Number one, eat a healthy diet. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Don't eat fast food. Drink lots of water. Don't drink too much caffeine or sugary drinks like soda, for example. Then I always feel tired and sleepy. What is the problem with this person? I always feel tired and sleepy. So I have here some advices for this. Do not go to sleep too late or don't go to sleep too late. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Don't eat in bed. Also, don't check your phone from bed. Are those good advices? Son buenos consejos para las personas que siempre se sienten cansadas y con sueño. Let's see the first one. Don't go to sleep too late. What time do you go to sleep? ¿A qué hora se van a la cama ustedes? And you say, at 10 p.m. Then you say, at 11, at 12. Teacher, yo hasta el siguiente día me acuesto. Then you say, go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. And don't eat in bed. So you do this. Do you eat in bed? No, teacher. No, no, okay. And also, don't check your phone from bed, right? No, no use su teléfono cuando ya está en la cama, porque cuando siente ya han pasado dos horas, pero no se dio cuenta. So, but those are examples, right, of imperative sentences for giving advice. And let's see, I have another example here. I am depressed. I am depressed, so what can you do? Anyone need to read the advices? If somebody say, I am depressed. Number Which one. Are... Yes? Uh, letter B. Do, 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 do not stress too much. Each day, 
find time to relax, take a walk, sit and watch the sunset, talk with friends and family, don't speak too much, time on social media. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. And do not stress too much, friend. Uh, each day, find time to relax, take a walk, sit and watch the sunset, talk with friends and family, don't spend too much time on social media. And finally, see a doctor once a year. Listen to your doctor, follow her advice, don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. All of them are imperative sentences, right? Todas estas son oraciones imperativas. ¿no? Giving advices para dar consejos. So do you have any questions about this topic? Questions? Questions? Okay, if you don't have any questions. Okay, here we go. That was the end. Now, let's see, I have a headache. Give me some advices using imperative sentences. I have a headache. Don't go to work tomorrow, teacher. Okay, don't go to work tomorrow. Thank you. Any other advice? I have a headache. See a doctor. Okay, see a doctor. Thank you. Now, let's see, I want to be healthy. Drink a lot of water. Excellent advice. Thank you. Drink a lot of water. Any other advice? I want to be healthy. Eat English. Uh, excuse me. Don't study English. <laughs> Don't study English, really? Para estar saludables, study English. <laughs> Don't study English. For a headache. For a headache. Ah, for a headache. For a headache. Ah, no, English isn't difficult, right? <laughs> English is funny to learn. Uh, anybody? Uh, drink um, two cup water. Drink two cup of water. Mm, that is too less, right? We need more. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait. Wait. Tell me, Anna. Drink and drink how much water? Drink, okay, drink a lot, a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Lot. Very good. Now let's see. I have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. Don't drink soda. Don't drink soda. Very good. Anybody? See a doctor. Don't See a drink, doctor. Mm, don't drink. Don't eat uh, much. Don't eat too much. Thank you. Don't eat too much. Don't drink uh, coffee. Don't drink coffee. Okay, excellent. So I feel tired and sleepy. I feel tired and sleepy. Me siento cansado y con sueño. What can I do? Take a rest. Take a rest, yes. That is one. Don't see the cell phone. Okay, don't watch your cell phone. Don't use your cell phone. Don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Be happy. Okay, don't worry, be happy. Okay. <laughs> That's all right, don't worry, be happy. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to listen bed early. To listen to relaxing music, okay? Listen to relaxing music. Okay, that is the way in which we use imperative sentences um, for giving advices, right? Para dar consejos, right? So, taste an aspirin. Go to the doctor, see a doctor, go to the dentist, eat healthy food, don't eat fast food, don't drink too much coffee, don't drink too much soda, eat, what's the other thing? Eat baseballs. Okay. So imperative sentences, do you have any question about this? If you don't no. have any 
No, no questions. Ok, excelente. ¿Cuántos tipos de oraciones imperativas tenemos? Two. Just two. Which are they? Positive and negative. Positive and negative. Las negativas comienzan con... Don't. Don't. Ok, don. Y las positivas comienzan con... They start with... Bear. With bear. the bear. Ok, bear con be. el verbo. Ok, bear and we need a complement to. Ok, that is excellent. Then, guys, please don't forget about the platform exercises. It's important that you complete those exercises during this week, section number two and section number three, right? So, are you working on that? ¿Están trabajando en esa plataforma? Yeah, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Remember, yes. right? We need to complete them. Necesitamos completar esos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Para el final de esta semana, sección 2 y sección 3, me parece que decía el comunicado ¿verdad? en el grupo. Ok. Sección 3. So, ok. Bueno, sé que están muy ocupados, ¿verdad? Tienen sus ocupaciones, pero si por ahí les queda un espacio, hay que trabajar en la plataforma. Necesitamos resolver esos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Uh, coma un poquito más rápido después, ¿verdad? Come. <risa> Y le duele el estómago, así que es por mi culpa. <risa> Then you're going to have a stomach y we say, es culpa del teacher, man. <risa> bueno, entonces, eh, we need to work on that. Please pues ya don't sabemos forget que about podemos that. poner pretexto. <risa> Muy bien, entonces, uh, it has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you so much. If you don't have any other questions or any other comments, eh, have a good night. And see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. See you bye tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank bye. You. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>